Hello. Welcome to this video on accounting integration. In this video, we will cover the basic components of a payslip. The accounts we need to link them to in accounting. And the integration of Sage Payroll to Sage Accounting. Before we can integrate payroll to accounting, we need to create the expense and control accounts in the accounting software. Here are a few simple tips to remember when creating those accounts. Gross income such as earnings and fringe benefits are debited to an expense account and credited to a salary control account. Deductions are debited to a salary control account and credited to a liability account. And Company contributions are debited to an expense account and credited to a liability account. In this example, using the double entry system, the earnings will be debited to the salaries and wages expense account and credited to the salary control account. Deductions are debited to the salary control account and credited to the liability account. Company contributions are debited to the salaries and wages expense account and credited to the liability account. Remember, the sum of all debits must equal to the sum of all credits. Let's look at how to set up the integration in payroll and post the journal to accounting. To access the accounting integration tab, select accounting integration or select maintenance then click on Accounting Integration. When setting up the integration for the first time, you will need to enter your username and password for the accounting software, then click Authenticate and Save. This will allow the payroll to sync with accounting and will display the list of accounting companies for you to select here. Select the relevant company to post your journal to. Once the company is selected, you will need to complete the payslip component mapping. Select the earnings drop down and capture each debit and credit account for the relevant earning components. To speed up this process, you can search for the account and select it. Once the earnings are completed, move on to mapping the deductions, benefits, and company contributions. When all mapping is complete, click Save. A message will display when the setup is successfully saved. To post the journal, click Continue. The next screen will display the pay group, the tax year, and the pay run period. At the bottom is the list of mapped components. If you have missed mapping some of the components, the system will notify you. You can click Map Now to map the missed components. Once all components are mapped, click on Post New Payroll Journal. The journal is posted successfully. To view the details, click on the line item. To view the journal report, click on Reports from the main menu. Select the Payroll tab. Scroll down and select Payroll Journal. Select the Pay Group and Pay Run from the drop-down menus. Click Create PDF. The Payroll Journal report will display. Click on the download icon to save the report, 
or click on the print icon if you would like to print the report. Congratulations! You now know how to set up the accounting integration and post your payroll journal. Thank you for watching.